SZA. You guys familiar with SZA? Yes. The R&B singer. So SZA was on a podcast and they asked her to explain her name. Do you know what her Do you know what her name is? Her name means. All right. Give me your entire name and tell me where SZA came from. Um, Solana Imani Rowe is my entire name. SZA is like an acronym derived from the divine alphabet. If you're like familiar with Wu Tang or anything like that, a five percenter, um, it's like a it's like a older ideology where each letter stands for different ideologies. So S stands for self sovereignty, like sovereignty of oneself and savior of oneself, and then Z stands for zigzag, which is like enlightenment of oneself, and then A stands for Allah or God, whatever you consider the most high, and so. Um. Yeah. So this <laughs> this came from a this came from a creator. I don't remember her name. Um. But she was basically warning, like, "Hey, you need to know who you guys are listening to and what they're about." Yeah. Because a lot of people let their kids listen to stuff and they don't know what the the yeah. motivation of the artist is. But to know that she names herself after this five percent doctrine is concerning. What What do you guys are you guys familiar with five percent? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, well, the majority Wu Tang. That's what they spit. That's what she mentioned Wu Tang. So yeah, when, when she when I remember first seeing her name, I was like, is she related to RZA? Like, is that a play off of his name or whatever? But that's not no shocking to me. I think I think at the end of the day, it's go still go back to the the original sin of getting that fruit and knowing that you're God and, and thinking you're God. So that's what they believe five percenters like you know what's today's mathematics it's like everybody kind of believes that yeah that's that that's that every single yeah. thing we've talked about on here it comes back to whether it's mormonism which we'll hit up in a future show <laughs> um whatever it is it's always Wages, um, your yeah. god some kind of way yeah. it always goes back to that it's the same it's either god is god or your god it seems like that's the battle everybody has in all these yeah shows. Did she say something about being a witch one time? I thought she said she was a Muslim. Yeah. I, heard, I heard her say it. Yeah, I think she said something about being yeah, so a witch. Yeah, so I already knew she wasn't a believer, so I was like, okay. Yeah, she said, yeah somebody in the comments, VC in the comments said she's been Muslim. She's yeah. Muslim. Yeah, but then that's not, that's not, okay. So I think there's a lot of people who float between nation, 5%, and Islam. Yeah. They kind of float between those. Yeah. All over and, 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 and a black and a black and black yeah. black people float yeah. between those. Yeah, why is that? Because I mean, Islam doesn't say what she's saying. Yeah, well, it depends on what sect of Islam. These different sects, mm-hmm. like yeah. the Nation of Islam, is black, Louis Farrakhan, and different things of that nature. And then, of course, five percent nation comes from the streets of in New York City and black and stuff like that. So that those those um. Those sects are l- way a little different than the the, the religion of Islam because, like, even Malcolm X, if you ever saw that movie, mm-hmm. he talked about like, yeah, I went to Mecca and I seen white Muslims, I seen yeah. all types of Muslims. So those sects are what we talked about black, um, um, black not black theology. Well, that's one one part, but just like um, self improvement. You go, you you the black man is God or. Mm-hmm. You know, you Fruit identity of identity of who you are. You know, what I mean stuff like that. So, and she probably just doing that. But I mean, it goes back to you know righteousness and ratchetness because her music is straight <laughs> ratchet. It's like I'm gonna do this to this dude car, or I'm gonna do this to him, or whatever. So, yeah. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Just just understand that. Um, there, okay, there's other people evangelizing to your kids all right Mm -hmm. so i think the point of this is just being aware that the people you let your kids listen to even what you listen to there's there's they have motives right they have there's something that they believe that they're trying to get you to believe they and just like christians do you kind of embed it in your songs right so is is it important for us to know that did you could you tell before from her music that this is what she believed Mm, um, me personally, I could see I could see how now as I listen listen think of a few songs from her, I could see why that ideology could be in her life. I think her newest album is what started started it off. Like you could really tell, like she want to kill her ex and all of the and I forgot what the other. It's like repeating these like negative yeah. things. But I I was a fan of her when she had mixtapes and stuff, and I feel like. Now it's getting a little bit more weird and worldly, but I was in the world back when I was listening to her, so maybe it was worldly back then too. But I feel like this most recent <laughs> album was kind of, I was just like, I can't listen to that no more because I'm, I'm repeating this stuff in my head. Yeah, she seems to promote toxic relationships 
from what I've heard, the music I heard, she made some good music. She's it's, very talented. It sounds yeah. good. I ain't gonna lie. It sounds good. We had her on line for line. Yeah, yeah, it sounded yeah, yeah. good. It sounds good. But everything I hear is just toxic as a mug. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I think toxic relationships has been normalized to the point where people actually desire that. You yeah, online, yeah. People desire like, yeah. Toxic things. It's not real love unless it's toxic. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. think she kind of perpetuates that message a little bit. Mm 